Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch. And this time on Gravity Sketch, we're going to go over the main types of tools you have to create with. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven main settings, and this is act activated from the center thumb of your offhand. Now, the first two are called Ink and Stroke. The Ink Brush is a simple long stroke brush and as you can see it's got tapered ends they're pointy on the ends the only difference between that and the stroke brush is the stroke brush isn't pointy it's uniform all the way through so you can see how a, an ink as opposed to a stroke, they're both going to give you the same style of line. They're both going to be full three-dimensional tubes, but the ink has pointy ends. Now, these are both customizable, so if you want to give them pointy or bulgy ends, they're both fully customizable. These are just starting points. Ink is the first one. Stroke is the second. The third tool is called Revolve. Now, Revolve gives you a center point, and you draw around that center point. So you can see how there's that line on screen. So when I start drawing my trigger, you can see how it's sort of doing a tube almost. I'm going to shrink this down. Now we can start to see what's happening here. I'm going to redraw. You can see that white line is my center point. So you can see how my controller is making a circle around that center point. So now I'm going to do the classic candlestick urn type of thing. So now you can see what sort of shapes. It's almost like a lathe. It's for making non-cylindrical cylinders. Stretch them out, play them as much as you like. These objects you can fully manipulate after the fact, but this is the tool to quickly draw them in the first place. Simple rings, you don't have to draw very much, but if we want a whole tube, we can draw those as well. Now these are straight, not curved, but again, after the fact, you can bend them around as much as you wish. So this is called the revolve tool. It's for making things around that center point. Let's get back to an empty screen. Okay, so that's rev Revolve. The Surface Tool. This one is going to use both hands. Each one grabs the corner of a sheet. You can see that black line. When I pull this second trigger, I can now draw that line out like a ribbon. This shape was easy to draw just guiding the outer edges. And this becomes a flat ribbon-like shape. We can then edit the shape to change the curves and the edges, but this surface tool, so I could draw the roof of a car or the hull of a spaceship fairly quickly by making these smooth, they're not planes, because they're curved, but they're still a smooth surface. That tool is called Surface, surprisingly enough. All of these tools, once they're in place, you can edit them at will. The next tool in our list, tool number five, is called Volume. Anybody who's used the program Tilt Brush has a hull brush to make shapes. This works in a very similar fashion. As I move my hand around, you can see it makes these boulder-like or long tubular or whatever type of volumetric shape you want. Instead of a flat ribbon, it's doing a full three-dimensional shape. You can see by the reflections in the highlights how these things work. Let's choose a different color and a different pattern. So we'll make it a basic material in a paler color. Now you can see those shadows and highlights a little bit better. Kind of, sort of, maybe. So the volume, volume tool is how we can build up a shape. Now we can go in and change its curves and edit it at will. Hide my volumes. Ink and stroke, revolve, surface, and volume. Primitive shapes, if you want a perfect cube or a perfect sphere to start with, clicking on it once 
activates it, clicking on it twice brings up a menu of shapes. Whether you want spheres or cones, ellipsoids, you can even take a shape and break it into pieces. So it could start with a pyramid and then break it down into other shapes and extrude and alter from there. But these will give you a general shape to start with. So big I was inside of it. There we go. some toruses of different sizes and shapes. Getting a little out of hand here. But these are your primitive shapes as starting points. Let's get a pyramid. Here's my pyramid. And a lovely pyramid it is. That pyramid's way too big. Let's make it a smaller pyramid. There we go. So manipulating these pieces, now that we've got it, we can indeed go in and start changing its proportions, changing its size, changing its angles, that type of thing, to get the exact shape that you want. With these tools as starting points, you can build any type of object you want, whether it's a building or a vehicle or a creature. These are your main starting point creation tools. Then we can go in and manipulate the details of what we have created. The final option here is called viewpoints, and that's not so much working with your model, but working with your perspective on the model. So now that I've got my viewpoints going, I can actually set up camera angles. There's a camera angle. There's a camera angle, so that when people experience my model, I can have starting viewpoints to take screenshots or videos, or if this is going to be uploaded to a forum, this can be a perspective I want them to have of my model. We'll go into the real controls and details of all these tools in individual lessons, but this is to give you an idea of what you're going to be having to work with as you work with Gravity Sketch. Great development program, all these great useful tools built in. Let's get us a nice vibrant color here Let's to leave up our usual message. Let us know if you have questions in the comments below. We do this on youtube.com slash shameless mayhem on a regular basis. So let us know about the types of things you want to learn about. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Let us know what you create. Have fun with Gravity Sketch.